Hello and welcome to another episode of the Weekly Deathmatch. In this week's episode, I want to talk about Mario Maker because Mario Maker's come out and it's the best game ever made. It's pretty gam damn good. It's also pretty gam good. Um, and yeah, I've made a couple of levels. Uh, one of them's been played a little bit and people liked it, and the other one hasn't been played at all, which is a bit weird, you know, I guess algorithms are a bit weird or whatever. Uh, maybe it just depended on when I posted it. The annoying thing is I'm more proud of the second level than I am of the first one, but, you know, hey, I've got an idea. I'm going to put my level code on the screen, so if anyone wants to uh, play my levels, they can do that, or I'll just put my maker code on the screen, I guess, so you can browse my levels and play them at your leisure. I don't know if I'm going to have much of an overlap, but, you know, you never know. Best to get your levels out there and stuff, but yeah. Uh, also, this is Destiny 2. It's not Iron Banner anymore. It's just regular Crucible, so I figured I could try out some of my other guns, which aren't as high in power level. Uh, that's why I'm trying the Cerberus Plus 1. I don't know if it's any good in Crucible or not. Uh, it's just, I've got it. I'll give it a go. Uh, and it seems pretty fun. I, I, li I like it. It's, 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 it, it kills good. Yeah, it, it kill dudes good. So yeah, it's been a pretty goddamn good time for gaming because yeah, Mario Maker came out, which I've been anticipating all year, and then also patch 8.2 for the Warcraft came out, and Najatar, the new zone, holy shit. Um, I, pff, going into that patch, I didn't think I'd care about it much at all, um, even though I'd heard good things. So I was like, yeah, but you know, the Naga or whatever, you know, Queen of Shara, it's just going to be a little bit of a distraction. I'm actually in love with that zone and the story and everything. It's amazing. Um, the music is really atmospheric, the whole... Well, okay, I don't know why I thought Najatar wouldn't be something I cared about, because... My favourite Pixar movie is Finding Nemo. I, like, I just kind of love underwater stuff. Um, like, aesthetically, I guess. Like, just the whole, like, deep blues and stuff, and, like, sea life, that kind of thing. And Najatar has a lot of that in a fantasy setting. And one of my biggest problems with this expansion was that, um... It was very, like, it wasn't very fantasy, I guess, is the way to say it. Like, don't get me wrong, the zones were beautiful and all, but it's very, like, Mariner-themed, and I don't really care much for that kind of story. Like, it's just never been me. I don't, like, I'm not that into, like, boats and sailing and pirates and who are, and I guess. <laughs> uh, it's just never really been my thing. So this is more of a kind of a return to a fantasy setting, and it's amazing. And I, I just I just love the aesthetic and the music and everything and I'm really happy to be there. So yeah, I'm happy with World of Warcraft for the first time in this expansion. Uh, so that's pretty good. That's a thing I'm enjoying. And then also Crash Team Racing came out as I'm sure I talked about last week. I don't remember last week's video at all, but yeah, I'm sure I talked about that last week. Uh, and next week the Grand Prix thing is coming out for it. So basically the Grand Prix is a battle pass but for free. There's no like buying anything. There's no microtransactions in that game at all actually. But it still functions the same. Like you. You play, you do certain challenges, you, you level up, you unlock new characters, skins, like, carts, shit like that. And I think that's really what's going to get me playing Crash Team Racing more in the long run. Because uh, at the minute it's really fun, uh, but, like, I can't think of much reason to boot it up other than to just play a couple races online at the minute. It's like, I'd rather have more of, like, a permanent progression thing going on. And they've got three of those planned, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so that's pretty cool. Season 3 has, like, Spyro as an unlockable as well, so that's hella cool. And then Apex Legends Season 2 is going to be coming out also, I believe, on the same day. Uh, I think the Crash Team Racing stuff releases July 2nd. That's when Apex Season 2 comes out. And I've actually been getting into that game, as you might be able to tell from my streams and just generally playing with Reese a lot. Um, I couldn't get into that game, which is a shame because he really likes it. Originally when it came out, I just could not get into it. Um, something about the movement, I don't know, it didn't click with me, but I've tried playing with some other heroes and I'm thinking maybe it's because Pathfinder was clunky. Pathfinder's still fun to play, but kind of like keeping that in mind. Um, so yeah, I've been enjoying Apex Legends and it's just a really good time for games right now as well. Like I got a game pass for a pound um, and I've been playing Crackdown 3, which is something I was looking forward to at the start of the year. I outlined kind of like a little blog post of my most anticipated games of the year. Crackdown 3 was actually on that, but I couldn't really afford it at the time. So I'm playing that for a pound, and that's really fun. Crackdown 3 is definitely kind of like a power trip. <laughs> like, you play it because you want to just, like, you know, burn through a world and, like, complete objectives and take enemy strongholds down and all that kind of stuff. And, of course, most importantly, play as Terry Crews, um, who is, you know, power personified. <laughs> it, it's, it's a fun game. It's not, like, amazing, 
Um, but I don't know, it, it scratches the itch that, uh, the same itch that, you know, Saints Row satisfies. Uh, the itch that my super bear certainly did not satisfy, <laughs> as I was just kind of wandering around looking for people on the radar. Um, uh, yeah, I, I like it a lot. And I'll probably play some more of it. And the Game Pass just in general is looking pretty great. Like, they added, um, oh, what's it called? Tides of Penumbra Numenera. I don't fucking know what it's called, but it was some, like, some fucking, oh, I'm running out of time. What's it called? The game that's a bit like, um, ah, oh, oh god, Baldur's Gate. It's, it's like Baldur's Gate. I've always wanted to play a game like that. So yeah, that's that. Thanks. See you next time.